Welcome to the Final Expense Sales Academy, the hub for mastering the art of final expense life insurance sales. If you're looking to become a pro in the final expense industry, you're in the right place. My name is Kyle Williams, and I'm your host to go through the ins and outs of the final expense business from tips to tricks to industry insights. We cover everything you need to close deals with confidence, provide true value to your clients, and become a better insurance agent. So hit that subscribe button. Let's get started on elevating your sales game one video at a time. Guys, in this episode, we're going to talk about how to work your leads and what your sales process should be on leads. So buying leads itself does not guarantee that you're going to get a sale. In fact, leads are just a lead. That's all it is. It's a name and an address. So you have to be able to work a proven process on each lead so that way it provides you the best opportunity to make a sale. So what is that process? It, will, it really depends on the type of sales that you're doing. So are you doing telesales or are you doing in-person sales? Each sales process has, each sales uh, technique, whether you do telesales or in-person, requires different things for each one. So when you're doing telesales, you need to be able to expect that you're going to have to buy more leads. You're going to have some bad phone numbers. Expect people to hang up on you. And expect having a hard time getting people on the phone. That's a fact. So expect that with telesales. It's all about managing expectations. So when doing in-person sales, expect to have to visit the lead several times in a week if they're not at home. You're going to have to go by there several times. Expect to have some doors slammed in your face. It's going to happen. Expect to have some people look you dead in the face and say that they did not fill that out. They did not do it. Expect that expect to not get into every house that you go to so these are the expectations managing expectations will make things a lot easier so telesales and in-person sales do require a different sales process so here are some things that you're going to have to do in with each process for telesales you're going to have to call the number multiple times probably do a double or triple dial or try to get them on the phone because you're competing with so many telemarketers okay you may have to enroll them into a text campaign legally. Make sure you do that legally. Make sure you check out the rules on that. I'm not divulging into that in this episode. When you get them on the phone, you must have a great opening sentence to catch their attention. It will need to be the same each time so that way you don't stumble through it. Be ready to combat some objections right off the rip. You're probably going to know what they are. Be ready to set some appointments if you catch them at a bad time. You're going to have to punt, set the appointment at a different time, especially if the spouse is not there with them. In my experience, fresher leads lead to uh, more uh, an easier process to get people on the phone and make a sale with telesales. The best working hours are usually 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., depending on the sector you're focused in. Final expense will be more uh, middle of the day, whereas mortgage protection will be more towards late in the evening because you're dealing with people who are working. So, And you're probably going to have to work at least 50 leads a week to be able to maintain consistent production. So those are some things for the sales process you're going to require for telesales. Now, in-person sales. You're going to need to visit the lead several times until you catch somebody at home because you're not going to catch them at home immediately on the first try most of the time. So you're going to need to be able to go visit that lead multiple times in a week. You need to have a GPS or some app on your phone that will optimize the route to, that lets you work your leads effectively. You will need to have a great opening line to catch their attention at the door that will pique curiosity and give a call to action. And it needs to be the same every time so then that way you don't stumble through it and miss something. His best working hours are usually 10 to 11 o'clock in the morning till 7, 7.30 at night or whenever it gets dark. It's best if your leads are grouped into one county so that way you can work them effectively. That way you're not so spread out driving too much and you can frequently visit the leads to try to catch them at home. And you need to work about 25 to 35 leads a week to be consistent in production. And you will need to be excellent in one sit closes and one door knock to be able to get in. 
So if they come to the door, you better get in. Uh, because in, in in-person sales, if you have to set an appointment, a lot of times they're going to know what time to not be home for whenever you come back. So buying leads does not guarantee you a sale. You have to have a great process to follow and that process will lead to sales and you have to be able to be devoted to this process and do the same thing just about every time. So you, you need to start off by using the one that your agency has taught you. So wherever you came into, start by using that process if, because it should be proven because that person should be successful. If that person is not successful, you probably should rethink who you work with or what you do because their process is not proven. So when you start off, you need to start with a proven process with somebody who is successful that you can just mimic their sales process. And over time, you may tweak it a little bit to fit your style, but don't try to reinvent the wheel. Don't try to do completely something completely off cue, off topic, change the whole thing because then you're going to struggle mightily because you're trying to reinvent the wheel. And so finding the great system from a manager who is successful and knows their stuff will give you the optimum chance to succeed and be successful. And if you need help finding a system for your for your pro sales process, reach out to me. Let me know. I'll be more than willing to help you get that sales process ironed out, whatever questions you may have. Been doing this for a while and taught many processes along the way. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment below. Be sure to subscribe so that way you can catch all of our latest videos. If you caught something valuable here, be sure to share it on social media, share it with your friends, and comment below what was your favorite piece of content in this video, and we'll see you in the next episode.